Alright, welcome back to another video on the channel guys. We are back and today we're going to be doing a video on how to make your own clan recruitment post. But if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel or left a like on the video, make sure to go ahead and do so as I put a ton of time and work into all my videos. But if you guys haven't checked out any of my other um, recent videos, I've been putting a lot of time and work into them and making sure the quality is the best that I could possibly get out of my camera and my editing software. So all the support recently from you guys on my videos that aren't tutorials, I really, really appreciate it because I put a ton of time into those versus my tutorials. My tutorials do super well on my channel, but I put the most time into the other videos. Like a tutorial maybe takes me an hour or two to edit, but those videos take me three to four to five even a day to actually edit so i really really appreciate all the support that i've been getting recently on all my other videos and one thing before we start the video i want to do vlogs so i'm actually flying out to california on december 24th and i'll be back i believe january 1st and i want to start vlogging for you guys but i don't want to flood this content with vlogs so please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to start another channel and vlog and maybe i can also do like gameplays and stuff like that on that channel as well so please go ahead and let me know guys what you think i really want you guys' input on this and i think that's about it we'll go ahead and just jump right in the video all right so we are on pixlr guys i'm gonna be going step by step on how to actually make this recruitment challenge post so we are on pixlr.com from here you guys just want to hit open pixlr editor continue with pixlr editor and it'll most likely ask you to run flash go ahead and just hit allow and then you will jump right into the website so first things first guys you need a background image um, I would suggest just going to Google and finding a background image of yourself. Now, if you want to find the one that I used, um, I believe I just searched uh, blue gaming background or something like that, and I went ahead and just saved that to my desktop and then used it. So once you guys actually find that image, go ahead and just hit open image from computer and go ahead and find that image that you saved. Now, I believe this is the one that I used. So now that we have the image on here, what I did was this is a really wide image, so I didn't want like this whole wide thing to be on an Instagram post. So I did went ahead and clicked on the crop tool. And from here, I can go ahead and select everything that I want use so I can go ahead and go like this and then go right here and then I can go ahead and just hit enter and it's gonna give me that crop size so it's a little bit smaller and easier to work with now the main thing for this post is this is all about fonts so go ahead and go on to font.com and go ahead and download as many fonts as you can find different fonts that you like and if you guys want to see a video on um, an updated video on how to get fonts on Pixlr because it is a little bit of a process to get custom fonts on Pixlr um, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below but I'll toss a card up of the last video that I made how to get the Fortnite font on Pixlr um, you can always just use different fonts and use the same process so we're gonna start off with our logo now we're just gonna go ahead and hit layer open image as layer and then we're just going to go ahead and find our logo. All right, so I found my logo. I'm going to double click and click on the move tool to move it around. And then from here, guys, you're going to hit edit free transform on the logo layer. And then you're going to hold shift the key thing here so it doesn't actually like misshape the image at all. You're going to hold shift and drag it down to kind of fit the size that you want. And I believe I had it just about here for my um, actual post. And move it around a little bit. All right, so now we're going to focus on the title. So I had Team Cloaks on the top, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the Type tool. And the font that I actually used for the top um, title or like the name of it or whatever um, was Dream MMA. So I can hit the scroll thing down here. All right, here it is. So then we're going to go ahead and type Team. It's got to be lowercase for Dream MMA Team. Space. And we're going to go ahead and color white because that's what it was in the thumbnail, I believe. And then we're just going to size this to whatever size fits. That looks about right. We're going to hit OK. And then we're just going to go ahead and move this around. I believe I had it up here. And then we're going to go ahead and just take this team. And we're going to duplicate this layer. And we're going to move it to the right, right where the cloaks was. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the type tool. And we're going to go on that duplicated layer. And we're going to go ahead and click on it. And now we're going to change the color of this. Now I believe I used like a light blue like that or I believe I used the blue in my actual logo to match it Let's see if I can click on it there we go and then I click OK and then I believe I had cloaks and I hit OK and then from here you can actually click on it again and I had the size a little bit bigger of that one so click OK and then we can drag this like right here and then to finish out the title I'm gonna go ahead and click here now I had the 2.0 in the dream MMA font as well we're gonna have a space after so it doesn't cut that letter off and we're gonna do white as well too boom and then we're gonna move that around right underneath it boom and then we're gonna go ahead and do the recruitment challenge lettering now for the recruitment challenge lettering i have the fortnite font exactly so it's called burbank condensed i believe and if you guys go watch that video i put a card up um earlier in the video it is exactly this font I always use this font for like graphics and stuff like that just because it's the best font I feel like that matches Fortnite and kind of matches the gaming theme. So we're going to go ahead and click here and then we're going to go to Burbank Big Condensed 
which is the most alike font to the Fortnite font that I could find on the internet pretty much. It's down here a little bit. There it is. Then we're gonna put recruitment challenge. Now we're gonna go to white here. Click okay. And we're gonna size this down a good bit. And we're gonna click the move tool. And we're gonna move it right to the top. So you, whatever you guys are doing, you can just replace your logo with my logo if you guys want to use the same background that you find online. And you guys can use the same font as me and kind of follow the same steps, just putting in your team name. I really don't care if you guys want to use the same format or kind of try to make the same thing as I do. I really don't care, guys. So from here, you guys can follow the same steps as me for like the rules and stuff like that to enter your recruitment challenge or whatever. You guys can always just create your own hashtag and then just use that. But you guys can also just use the same um, like competitive player, uh, content creator, GFX. You can use the same template as I do but just replace your hashtag so from here I put content creation slash streamer and then I'll add a couple spaces to the beginning of that so it kind of middles up and then I had white for that and okay then we're gonna adjust the size a little bit there and then the move tool I'm gonna go up here and then we're actually gonna duplicate this layer I'm gonna drag it right over here and I'm going to click on this again, the duplicate layer, and then I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to put uh, competitive player, and then I'm going to move that to the center. And then I'm also going to duplicate that competitive layer, and I'm just going to drag that to the other side. And this one actually isn't quite in the middle. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to edit that one that I just had, so go to the type tool and click on that one again. And now we're going to put GFX, to the, oh, if I can spell, designer, slash, editor. And I want that editor to be in the middle, so I'm just going to space. If that's going to work, I need that E there. And then we're going to click OK. And drag that kind of where we, wherever we want it to be. And from here, I want the font a little bit less, so maybe at like 50. And then what I had in the thumbnail was have YouTube YouTube slash Twitch. And then I have consistent. I cannot type today. Content and have fun. And then I want to go ahead and click that and click white. And then go ahead and drag that up here. And the text doesn't really quite match up how I wanted it to. And there we go, we have that. Now we're gonna go to the head and competitive player. And I believe what I had in the thumbnail was um, prove your skill and use hashtag whatever you guys' hashtag is. And click that, and I actually added a few extra spaces there. And I'm gonna go ahead and click enter, and then I had commit to the grind. And then post clips consistently. And then we're gonna go ahead and click white. Okay, and we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna click the move tool and just move that to the middle. Now I'm gonna adjust the spacing a little bit just so it looks like it's in the middle. Move that out of the way. And that looks a little bit better than what I had before. So we're gonna make sure that's right under there. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the GFX designer editor part. Now what I had in the thumbnail was, I'm just gonna change the color right away too. And I had Adobe Photoshop. And then I had no iOS. And honestly guys, I would highly recommend putting this in your recruitment challenge. Um, I just feel like it is such a more valuable um, skill to have Photoshop and not iOS designers because iOS really limits you as far as designs and originality. You can't really do much original uh, GFX work on iOS. I mean, there's a select few people that can, but I would highly suggest just getting designers that work with Adobe Photoshop first. So we have that, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the next one. I had, or 
I had show us your work. And we're gonna go to white, click okay. And then we're gonna drag that right below. And then the last one I had under that is be creative. Cause I feel like that's definitely the biggest thing as far as GFX goes. Click on white. And there we go. And then if you guys look at the thumbnail, you guys see I have the hashtag on the bottom. Um, so what I actually did for the bottom was I had the Fortnite font. I just put use and then I went to white and I'm going to make this size a lot bigger and I click OK. I'll put this right here. And then the font I actually used for the hashtag was called Road Rage. You guys can find that on defont.com if you just search Road Rage. And I believe it's down here. Yep, right here. And then I had hashtag cloaks up, which is my team hashtag for recruiting. And then I had the color at white. And then I actually had the UP like up. I had that a different color, which was, I believe, this one. Or actually, this isn't gonna change. Okay, so what we need to do here is get rid of the last two. Leave a space, hit okay. Then we're just gonna move this right next to it. And I actually might move this use over a little bit. Because we want two different colors for the hashtag. So I'm just gonna duplicate that cloaks and I'm gonna move it all the way over here. I'm gonna go to the type tool, click on that. And I'm just gonna put up and what I need to do is leave a space before and after so it doesn't cut off any of the letters and then for color I'm gonna go ahead and use that same color that I used before by clicking on it and then click OK and then I'm gonna go to the move tool and I'm gonna move it right next to it alright so this is gonna be the final solution you guys can go ahead and just add little images and stuff like that to make it pop if you guys want to let me know if you guys like the video by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and I'll definitely have more videos like this planned for the future I have tons of cool content coming for 2020 so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and again thanks for watching I will catch you guys in another video peace Fuck.